Hello investors, traders, and market club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your Market Club update for Tuesday, the 5th of November. Tesla reports after the close, very closely watched stock. Apple builds a factory and Netflix does its thing. So let's get started, lots to cover. Let's start off with Apple. As you can see here, we had a little, little green trade trial come in there as a daily one, not a big deal. We don't pay a lot of attention to the dailies, but it does show you the momentum's coming back into Apple. But generally speaking, Apple closed last week at 525.42 or 525.78, so it's actually higher on the week. And if you look at the chart, we're seeing some sort of a little some sort of turn here in just the way this market sort of going sort of sideways like this just trying to get it up it's very similar to this type of pattern and I think we'll see the market eventually move back up we're still looking at the uh, 580 to 600 dollar level for Apple and I think we could see that by the end of the year I think the iPad's gonna be a very very popular item this Christmas the next stock we're looking at is Amazon as you know we've been very positive on Amazon from 277 uh, it's currently 357 so that's quite a nice profit in there generally speaking Amazon's going to go higher it's just it's, it's just a juggernaut that just had a book written about them which is garnering some attention it's probably gonna become number one on the Amazon bestseller list the book is called the everything store and uh, Jeff Bezos wife Mackenzie actually criticized it very heavily gave it one star but I don't think that's going to deter people from wanting to buy this book as they want to buy this stock. This stock has done very, very, very well. Even though it hasn't made any real money, it's still garnering strength. And this type of formation, just these sort of high level sort of consolidation right here is really kind of a positive in, in our mind. Now remember, last week Amazon closed at 363.66. It's about down six dollars for the week but we can easily make that up towards the end of this week let's see how we close up in Amazon this week our next stock is Netflix which is doing extremely well we've been bullish on this stock for quite some time as you may recall uh, Carl Icahn did this big number here where he took massive profits and sold five percent of his position pushed the market down but look it's just coming right back up just I love the way the stock is acting last week we closed in Netflix at 333.18 it's 338.76 so it's up five dollars for the week and it really wants to make that turn and go higher so we're very bullish on the stock all of our trade triangles as you can see right here are indicating a higher level so we'd like to be long this stock so the big news today is Tesla is going to report after the close we have a minus 55 indicating a trading range but the interesting thing in Netflix is what happened yesterday and what happened yesterday this stock this is yesterday's action right here this stock was plus eight percent for the day pretty unusual event it's one of the biggest moves one day moves we've seen on the upside and it sort of parallels what we think is going to happen with the earnings this afternoon a lot of people have been very critical of Elon Musk personally uh, I think he's doing a great great job he's got some great insights and he's a charismatic character we think that this market can do better and remember with the RSI indicator we're sort of back into this area this sort of area of support right here midpoint and this is the RSI indicator we're talking it's 57 that tends to be support we think this market can go higher and make new highs so we're still bullish our trade triangles the monthly is positive weekly is not so that's why you get this trading range of 55 we think we're going to see more back and forth but eventually I think this this report that comes out after the close the earnings for the third quarter are going to be very positive for Amazon. The next stock we're looking at is Pandora Media. We like this stock a lot. We think the challenge that came from Apple with the iRadio isn't going to shake this market. People like Pandora. I use it myself. People here in the company use it. They like it. There's a number of other wannabes out there, but Pandora is the king. And I think it's going to continue this type of formation, by the way. We think it's going to be a really nice one for Pandora. I think it's just sort of building and rounding off nicely I think we need to see it move over these levels and I think once we get over 28 I think this market is going to really rock now last week we closed in Pandora at 28.19 that's the highest weekly close we've seen in the stock that's the highest weekly close we've seen so anything over 28.19 it's 27.26 so it's like a dollar higher and we're off to the races in this stock you'll see a lot of momentum going into this stock and a lot of money too also all of our trade triangles as you can see we've been long from the monthlies from 11 15 and from the weeklies from 19 something and change so plus 100 strong trend on the upside it's in strong hands plus with the Pandora 
you're back here in the support area on the RSI, just like we were back here. Look at the move up here, which is coming from a higher level, indicating this market's going to go higher, in our opinion. Looking at the NASDAQ, this the NASDAQ still continues to be positive. You can see, based on our trade triangles, that everything has a go right here. You can see plus, plus here, here, 85, strong upward trend. The highest close you've seen in the NASDAQ is on a weekly basis is 3942.16. So if we close over that level and we're very close to it right now, 3941.15, that'll be a new high close for the new high weekly close, I should say, for this particular market. And that'll be a good thing for this index. We're looking at the Dow Jones and the Dow Jones last highest weekly close we've seen in the Dow Jones is all the way back here in this area and that was 15,658.36. So we're actually very close to that number, about 20 or 30 Dow points away. If we close higher on a weekly basis, it's going to be a good sign for this index as well, but not quite as bullish on the Dow as I am on the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. On the S&P 500, the highest there was a close of 1,761.64, and we're actually higher for the week there. So I think this is a good sign. If we close at these levels, it'll be a new high weekly close for this index, indicating further upside momentum. Our next market this is crude oil. You can see the trend is very clearly defined. Uh, looking at our long term, uh, the monthly kicked in just recently at 95.95. It's 93.44. That's a new low for this move. Also look at a weekly. Now remember we trade on the weekly trade triangle for trend. That's something that we always emphasize on futures contracts. So 102.22 was when the trend changed and that's almost $10 ago. And the last signal we had on the dailies, I'll put it right in here, is right here at 97. 37. That's a profit of approximately $4,000 a contract. And again, we're below 30, so we're getting to that danger zone on the RSI, indicating we may be seeing a turnaround somewhere along the line here, but you want to see more, more evidence of that happening. Looking at the euro, the euro really didn't do what we expected it to do. It's the weekly kicked in at 134.78, uh, 134.55. So it's right around here. Not, not too crazy about this market either way. Moving on to gold, which is really kind of trying to do something uh, hasn't succeeded yet with the weeklies up the monthlies down 65 is a trading range and it's certainly proven to be true but the bigger picture in gold in my opinion is what's happening right here and that's this sort of boom 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 that's kind of like where the market is right now this sort of sideways action from September 15th uh, really hasn't gone anywhere so I would leave that until we get a clear-cut trend breakout and we get all of our trade triangles these trade triangles here in some sort of unison we haven't seen that yet hey I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club thanks for stopping by every success in the markets and be sure to leave a comment on our blog or below this video you can find Adam Hewison as a regular contributor on Bloomberg Business News Network CNBC and Fox Business News